Michael DeSellis, how you doing? I just figured I'd put up this update. Uh, in the news today, the Internet FCC was voted. Uh, uh, the FCC was not voted through the Congress like in the Senate like it's supposed to. There was an emergency uh, executive order transaction that was done to Obama and his cronies, his administrative cronies, I call them that because that's what they are. And they went around and did not do it. As a matter of fact, the Senate was, uh, Cong Congress and Senate was having a few about that because it's not right the way he did it. It should have been done that way. And he's acting more like he's a king or an emperor. And that's why more and more all of us as, country, as countrymen and kinsmen alike, and even people in the administrative branches of government, even in churches, need to stand up for our freedoms because our freedoms right now are being trampled on, upon at all levels. And like I can't stress to you, I said he would go crazy with these executive orders, and that's exactly what he's done, folks. I mean, this is crazy stuff. So I'm, I'm just asking you from the bottom of your hearts to really look at this stuff because this is not the way it should be. We need to realize what our president is doing because, you know, more and more presidents, like the guy said in the congressman meeting, if we don't do something and get a hold of this right now and get a grip on what he's doing, right meaning, right new legislation laws into to to counteract his bills and stop these executive orders like the frenzy of executive orders that he's doing then you know the president the other presidents are going to come in and do all even more like hillary clinton you know since she's on the ticket and all everybody's being distracted by that and of course you know uh, i don't want another clinton saga i really don't and you know I, we just need a real good person to come in there and take the place of obama and we don't need another term of him either uh, because he didn't really do good for this country um, and if people think he did, then they're not on, they're not really on the same planet. Uh, they've been, their brains have been eaten out by parasites and all. That's why they've been programmed to think that he's done such a good job, but really he's not. He's done a lot more worse in his book. It says audacity. It says that he would like to take away and make this country. It was his wish from his father that to make this country like a third world nation, read the book audacity. It's all spelled out in there. What his father, at least that's what he says in the book said that that he would like Obama to carry out his wishes to the T, to the letter. And uh, that's basically what it says. And, uh, you know, really we need to stand up for this, folks. So, you know, pray about this. Let's take a stance. Lawyers who are Christians need to write legislation to counteract these executive orders because they can be, over, they can be overwritten and changed and modified. And hearings can be done on executive orders that presidents do. The only time executive orders should always be only be used is in times of war, which there's no war going on, and you know, or in times of an extreme emergency. This internet bill is not an extreme emergency. I don't care how he would rationalize it, but that's not an extreme emergency. We have things in place like homeland security, and we also have uh, we also have uh, and we also have the NSA. And we have the National Guard and things like that that actually, and, and private providers that do the same job. They have the tools to do that. We don't need uh, government czars or White House appointed people to meddle in something. Because every time the government, as history dictates and tells, every time they get a hold of something, they, they mess it all to pieces. Because they don't know anything about the Internet and they have no idea or clue about it. I mean, look at some of the way they voted these things and. You know, with SIPA and all, trying to make it sound like it's a good thing. The FCC was voted out. You know, they kind of, Obama just kind of went around the FCC. Even the FCC, people in the FCC, key people that wrote the FCC, you know, who are in the FCC, said that the top chairman said it was a bad deal for the American people as well as for the business. And it's not, it's going to slow down the internet. You know, it's going to make it even slower because of what they can do by putting things in there to slow it down. And it's going to be like a third world country kind of internet. So it's not going to make it fast, even though in the bill it says that there's about 340, 332 pages of regulations that have been acclimated in this bill, which the Congress has not privileged been able to see it. And nobody, even the general public, has not been able to see it. So that ought to be a red flag, just like the health bill, the health care bill that Obama put into law. The same way they did about that is what they're doing with this bill. And there's many other things that they do in secret and meetings. So that's something to think about. This is in the news, Michael De Silva's, a red alert emergency transmission. Because the way you communicate on the Internet from everything you do on the web is about to change for the worse. More fleet fees and more taxes is what it looks like to me if this really goes into effect. 
And when it fully does go into effect, we'll probably be between 2020 to 25. But see, still, lots of things are changing. They want to censor your speech. I mean, it's a whole lot of things that's in this bill that they're not letting us see. But that's what's in it. Um, because I've got leaks from sources. And I've seen it from other sources. There are some things in there that are really, really disturbing. And really bad for all people. So we need to we need to fight this. We need to have we need to do whatever we can do. Put injunctions on this. We need to stop this any way we can. Companies and all investments will go away for the internet if this if this you know has passed with an emergency executive grabbing is what Infowars called it because that's what it is. And other Drudge and other people have called it the same thing. Even Edward Stone called it that. So you know it's that's what it is, and that's what Obama was going to do, and that's what he exactly did. So what I'm saying is. We got to do something about this president. We got to impeach the guy. We got to get him on, get him locked up. We got to do whatever we got to do along with the administration. That's that's giving the orders. You know, there's a lot of things our government's doing is wrong, and we really need to stick up to it. So, Michael DeSilvis with In the War, Infowars News, broadcast, emergency broadcast transmission. See you later. Peace. Love you in the Lord. Take care.